everybody, Nick Fershaw here with Simon Borg, and we're counting down the top five players in our 24 under 24 series. And today, Simon, we're looking at number five, that's Teal Bunbury of Sporting Kansas City, drafted fourth overall in 2010. He's been a scoring fixture for Kansas City each of the last two seasons, a lot of success down there, and he's leveraged that into two appearances for the U.S. national team, scored a goal against Chile earlier this year. And Simon, he came in at number 17 on this list. Uh, last year, he's moved all the way up to number five. How did he do it? I think the big thing is the national team, which you just mentioned. Uh, when you make the leap to the international game and you show you can hang with the big boys, I think it changes perception. And in his case, people coming into 2011 saw a different Teal Bunbury, someone who could be perhaps the rising U.S. star, uh, the, the key forward for the U.S. national team. And he's shown it on the field. He scores tremendous goals in MLS. They're spectacular, all of them. Uh, he scores from anywhere on the field. Uh, so he shows these special qualities. I think people believe in him a lot more. And we know uh, at least one of our panelists had him as high as number three, which is a pretty great uh, ranking for him. Now, we ranked the players on a number of different criteria, Simon. Uh, where do you think Teal Bunbury came out the best? I think current skill and upside, I think that's a, that's a given that he ranked high in those categories. Uh, I think that Q rating, he's already doing commercials. Transfer value, we've already heard about the offer from the Danish club, Brunby, that Sporting Kansas City rejected. And he was training with Stoke on their inf invitation back, uh, in England about uh, six months ago. So I think transfer value is also a high ranking for him. Intangibles, not so much. He's not the man on Kansas City yet. He's actually had a, a year of growing pains uh, in sp at Sporting Kansas City. The summer was kind of quiet for him. He had to really get his thoughts together and figure out as a professional what he needed to do to get back in the starting lineup yeah. in Kansas City. So, uh, But everything else aside from intangibles, I think he ranked really high. You, uh, you got it right there. He's still working on some team leadership issues. Issues. That's not a role necessarily he has with Sporting Kansas City, but he definitely has that charisma. Two years out of the gate, he's already doing commercials, a very charismatic uh, figure in MLS. But what does this mean for his future? We talk about his career trajectory, both with club and country. Is this a guy that's going to be a perennial MLS All-Star, a best 11 selection? What's next for him? I think what's interesting is that at Kansas City, they're such an attacking team and they have so many weapons. First, he has to establish himself as the game-to-game -game guy who's always in the starting lineup. He needs to be among the league's leading scorers and eventually an all-star. So be the ultimate star in MLS first. Then I think the offers are going to come from Europe. And we'll see, Nick, if Sporting Kansas City get an offer that they just can't refuse. And it'll be interesting to see how Teal Bunbury figures into the uh, future plans for the U.S. national team. A lot of fans wondering how that's going to sort out. But that does it for today. Number five, Teal Bunbury of Sporting Kansas City. Join us again tomorrow on MLSsoccer.com as we reach number four, a big-time fan favorite here in MLS.